What's up, Salt Strong Nation? It's Courtney, and today I want to talk to you about how to break down a blue crab to make crab knuckles so that you can be super successful when you're fishing from the beach. Now, this is an amazing bait for pompano, black drum, and redfish. So you're going to want to know how to break it down, how to hook it, and how to make sure that it does not slide down the hook. Now, I will tell you that I am using a live blue crab in this video because I want to use the freshest of baits when I'm fishing. But what I do when I pick up a blue crab from the bait shop, or if we catch them in the surf, I put them right on ice. And this helps to put them in a deep state of sleep and numb them so that when I'm actually preparing the blue crab, it's done a little more humanely. So let's get to that on the water footage so you can see exactly how to break down that blue crab, how to hook it, and then I'll give you that one quick easy tip to make sure that it stays in place on the hook. Check it out. Now the first thing you're gonna wanna do is pull off the pinchers. And then taking your bait shears, you're going to clip off each leg just above the knuckle. You wanna make sure that you keep that knuckle intact because that is actually where you are going to put your hook through. Once you have all of those legs cut off, you'll take your bait shears and you'll cut down the middle of the crab to make two halves. Once you have your two halves of blue crab, You'll work with one half at a time. In order to get more leverage to pull off that top shell, simply place your thumb on the back knuckle of the crab and pull up on the top of the shell. Now that that meat is exposed, you're going to cut through and in between each crab knuckle. So using your bait shears, cut in between the individual knuckles. Now you can do one knuckle or two knuckles depending on if you want a smaller versus a larger piece of bait. When you're hooking your crab knuckle, take your circle hook and put the hook point through the hole of the knuckle. In order to keep those crab knuckles really nicely in place, I like to take a small piece of fish bite and put it over the hook point and onto the hook, securing that piece of knuckle on the hook from sliding down. And there you go. Now you have a new bait to add to your arsenal when you're surf fishing. And if you have any other questions or tips and tricks to use crab when you're fishing from the beach, let me know in the comments below and I'll see you on the next one. And if you're new to Salt Strong, just know that we're the best online fishing club in America because we actually guarantee you'll catch more fish while saving time and money. And we do this by providing you with our premium education, an exclusive online insider community, and huge discounts on the very best tackle for saltwater anglers. To learn more, go to saltstrong.com, and we can't wait to see you in the Insider family soon.